Hello, welcome to the Unit 4 Discussion Board. Really simple question this week, maybe our shortest question throughout the whole course. Were the Articles of Confederation destined to fail? Why or why not? How do they represent continuity? How do they represent change? So continuity and change are our skills this week. I mean, the Articles of Confederation are significant. We think about the idea that the United States, uh, as a fledgling nation after the Revolution, is seeking to establish uh, kind of its new government. We talked last week about the movement from resistance to revolution. A lot of different people had a lot of different ideas of how uh, either the colonies could run as individual uh, nation states or if we should form some kind of confederation that would create uh, uh, the modern America as we know it today. And one of the things that I want you to understand is that as we look at the Articles of Confederation, there are good things and bad things. You can find all sorts of stuff in the lecture content that will show you uh, kind of how they are different from the actual uh, Constitution we'd eventually put in place. And we can see some of these ideas of America coming in. Um, and one of the big ways to think about this is the idea that like these two guys, and this is another book by Gordon Wood. Gordon Wood is uh, a preeminent American historian that uh, really uh, is uh, significant, especially when it comes to the American Revolution. He wrote this book, Friends Divided, John Adams and Thomas Jefferson. And he talks about these different ideas they had for America. And one of the things that he's able to do by uh, showcasing that is to uh, move us away from uh, kind of these simplistic notions of looking at, well, here's the things in the Articles of Confederation, here's the things that are uh, in the Constitution of the United States, here's where the changes are, here's where continuities are. And you can certainly look at those things. Um, but I also want you to consider the broader stances that people had. One of the things we love to do in the United States is go, well, the Founding Fathers would have said this. Well, the Founding Fathers disagreed with each other about all sorts of things all the time. Um, they came from different backgrounds in the same way that many of you do. Uh, they have unique worldviews due to the experiences they've lived through. Um, and they disagreed on all sorts of things. Uh, Adams and Jefferson, great friends, very different visions of what they thought America should be. And we can see that in the continuities and changes between the Articles of Confederation and the Constitution. Um, Adams, certainly more for uh, what we would call uh, a stronger federal government uh, that would function maybe more in the way that our government uh, works today. The idea that uh, he saw the importance of uh, national regulation of the economy, uh, assistance in transportation of goods and a rapidly specializing economy. All these kind of things uh, are kind of uh, very key to Adam's position. On the other hand, you have Jefferson, uh, the Virginian uh, framer of the Constitution, certainly involved in these conversations. Um, and Jefferson really saw what we'd call a Jeffersonian agrarian ideal, which was a nation of small farmers that would be able to provide the kind of competency we talked about with Vickers a few weeks ago, um, and would be able to kind of uh, be largely self-sufficient, be able to renew their communities uh, through the uh, benefits of rural life. All these kind of things were critical to this Jeffersonian position. Um, so I want you to think about some of those broader movements as you consider uh, why the Articles of Confederation uh, failed? Were they destined to? Were there uh, ways that they could have been salvaged that would have created maybe a better America than the one we have today? Believe it or not, uh, in a de uh, democratic republic like we have, uh, we're constantly uh, tweaking things and changing things and seeking to improve them. So uh, feel free to look at some of that stuff, offer some suggestions, bring your own unique perspectives, uh, and do your best here as we work through uh, the discussion board again this week. Uh, thanks for the hard work you've been putting in, and I'll see you back here on the discussion board next week. Good luck.